and welcome to the absolutely magnificent Stenhouse Bay on the Lower York Peninsula. I've never fished here before, I've seen photos, I've seen videos, and I've got to say, this has got to be one of the prettiest locations for fishing in South Australia. I was told, head out on the end, on the right hand side, apparently the current runs around the rocks, uh, especially at the lower current. Um, we've already got a, a burly block out there. Um, we're gonna get set up and we're gonna give this a crack today. Wow, this is just a, a spectacular spot. So the next step um, is to get a uh, Tommy teaser out. I'll show you this rig again. You've seen it before if you've watched my other videos. Speed, weighted Inku squid float. I do then have a weighted Mel Spikes glow sinker to a swivel and then the swivel just through the mouth of the fresh Tommy Ruff that I caught uh, in my previous video. There doesn't actually seem to be a lot of what I call weedy patches out here. So I might actually just put this one out over that corner. And we'll keep an eye on him and hopefully we can get a uh, goodly diddly interested. In the meantime, we'll get my uh, Shimano Impact XT 762 medium light action eggy rod matched with the Shimano Nasi 3000. So we're just going to put a squid uh, jig on that one. I get some great support from Inku Squid Tackle. You can support me as well. You can jump on their website, buy some awesome uh, Inku Squid Tackle jigs, this case, net, landing net, uh, braid now, uh, all sorts. Use code MATSFISHING and you'll get a 10% off and it'll also support the channel. Today, what a day. Beautiful and sunny, nothing more you can do but put on the uh, the Glow Tiger. This is a 3.0. I may go a 3.5, just because it is a bit deep out here. But uh, let's see how we go. And then what I want to do next uh, is set up my other rod, and I really just want to catch a live Tommy to put out on the uh, balloon. If I do catch a squid, I'll put a squid head out on the balloon. Um, but I was told that, uh, yeah, floating a balloon off the end of this jetty could uh, get some pretty good results. We're also gonna try for some whiting today. Tommy's, salmon, I really don't know. So I'm just gonna put on a, a pretty standard uh, Paternoster whiting rig. I've got some cockles for bait, I've got gents. So I might put a cockle on the bottom, gents on the top. We've just got a, uh, a sand patch hole out here. Just gonna give that a go. Should be on the bottom now. Let me know when that rod goes off. I'm not expecting too much in the early parts of the video. I do like to get here a little bit earlier, uh, just so I've got time to set up. I'm not rushed. And so the burley can get out. Um, high tide's probably in about a couple of hours, so we're fishing, gonna fish the incoming tide, and we're gonna fish two hours of the outgoing tide. So I was told by a local that uh, the, uh, the best side on the Stenhouse Bay jetty is the right-hand side. He said a lot of people fish to the left. He said, actually, you gotta figure the current It actually down the bottom apparently swells around out past these rocks. So um, I've taken that into consideration and we'll see, uh, see if that helps us with uh, some more luck. I think we're going to try to a, a top rig on this one. I think that's going to be the way to go. Try a top rig um, with a pencil float. Maybe throw out some surface burly. Because as I said, I'd really like a, uh, a fresh live bait of some kind. So it's 1.30. I would expect... I was expecting sort of some action to have sort of started by now. But we're out fishing. We're clearing our mind. We're relaxing. Oh! The... Uh, Oh, the float had gone so far under, it wasn't funny. What was going on there? And then there's nothing. Yeah, it's going down again. Got him. Oh, we got a double header, guys. Oh, okay, the Tommies are finally here. Woohoo! Double headers. We got a keeper, which is that one, and we got a bait size, which is this one. Yay! Hey buddy, you're gonna go out on this. Now we're just gonna spike him just in front of the top fin there. I drop him down as a loivy. Finally guys, turn the ratchet off. Oops. Looks like he's gonna go off in that direction, which is fine. We've got a swimmer. 
gonna go out that way, which is gonna be friggin' awesome. Who knows what we might get. It's big salmon, snook, probably not a shark this time of year. Don't know if we get kingfish this far down the peninsula, Mulloway, especially if they, it gets right over by those rocks. All right, let's get back in the water. Put the ratchet on here. That's the sound we want to hear. And this one's a, not a monster. Not as big as that monster PB yesterday, 30, uh, sorry, 28 centimeters, 27, 28. But definitely a good eating size, so he can go in the bag. All right, so it's taken about three hours, but we finally got some action, guys, which is great. It was so surprising though, I just saw the float and I'm like, what, huh? And then I went, oh yeah, got a fish. Getting pulled, it's down, got him. It was decent, oh, he got off. He felt pretty decent while we're winding, we'll, uh, we will bring it in and put the fresh bait on. Tommy's I've always found just seem to be that little bit picky when it comes to bait and they always tend to like fresh bait. All right, got the fresh bait on. Let's uh, hopefully pick up another few. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long. Yep, there it goes again. Going down, 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 and we'll drag him. Oh, missed him, how did we miss him? That's insane. He took that a good metre and a half down, and then it's size eight owner hook, so they're super uh, sharp and good size for these, for Tommy's. I think they are just a little bit further out, so might, uh, might cast to the left with the wind coming from that side. And it should uh, float back around. So this is sort of the classic example of what the gentleman this morning was telling me. He said, like, you know, the wind is sort of coming in my face now. So a lot of people think the other side of the jetty is the fishing spot, but he is adamant that this is the side to be on. Let me know in the comments if you fish Stenhouse and if you agree with that. Got him. We've got a double header again, guys, I think. Nice double header. Yeah, they're not... Uh, Nowhere near the size of the ones in, in a recent video off the rocks. You would have seen on the head cam there that there's, uh, there's quite a few swimming up with these two. So I'm just gonna show you the rig. So we've got the pencil float down to a small swivel and we've got a, uh, a loop knot with the 80, uh, sorry, with a size eight owner hook down to a swivel. That's more just for a bit of weight. And then down to the next hook, size eight. And it's pretty long. It's about two meters from the bottom of the float to the bottom hook, just to give you an idea of the trace. You know, it really does just depend. With Tommy's, uh, we you fishing, how long your trace needs to be. I generally find people don't fish with their trace long enough. So if you're not catching, but you can see they're down there, just go for a little bit longer trace. Keep it light as well. You don't need 15 pound line. This has actually got a 10 pound braid on it, which is probably a little bit heavy for this action anyway, but I didn't want to bring out my other lighter rod. Oh. Yeah, uh, we got a couple of fish on that. At least, oh, decent size one. No, we got a double header. No, we got a good Tommy. Not a bad size, not the best. Was a bit spoiled yesterday. Go at it again. We have let some more line out on that balloon, but I don't think it's moving too far. There's still plenty of Tommies down there. I can see them. Okay, we're getting a little bit more action. That's gone under again. Just giving it time. Jag, got him. Not a big one. Oh, but I've just hooked up another one. No, I haven't. No, I thought I had. They follow them up and then I think they'd like to grab the second hook. Some of these will end up being uh, squid teasers because they're not as big, but uh, yeah, not the not the worst, Tommy. They're really, you, know, you can see a beautiful blue and uh, the black tail, the markings are just really good quality. Let's go again. So surprised that squid teaser hasn't gone off. And we've got another one on, guys, I think. Well, they're certainly interested. Took it down and then popped back up, going down, down, 
down. Oh, how do they not take it? Still, if they're that small, I probably don't want to catch them. There's another one. It's little touches. I'm probably a bit close in here, down there. I think like many jetties, the smaller Tommies seem to come in closer and then the bigger ones are generally out the back. So I've taken four days off, the, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday from work and uh, at Pioneer Water Tanks. We've been doing lots of great work this last uh, few weeks. Everyone's jumping, uh, everyone's jumping on board, grabbing those tanks to capture that last of the winter and early spring rains. Uh, if you haven't got one and like one, give me a, a holler in the uh, at pioneertanks.com request a quote page. That's it. Great, now we're out where we want to be. And uh, I'm sure we can uh, sort you out. The tide's definitely, uh, definitely come up about a metre or so. I think it's still got a bit more to go though. Might need to bait up again. There's definitely fish down there. There we go, guys. That refresh of the bottom hook certainly helped. This is a better one, I think. Yep, this is a good size one. They're getting a bit better, bigger, which is nice. That's a, a better eating size. That's interesting, that balloon is now starting to move out that way a bit, which is good. So that's definitely the direction I wanted it to go. Might just, uh, well, I won't make the same mistake I made before. Might just put that one there so I can get to it a bit quicker if, uh, if it decides to go off while I'm leaving this line out. So I think it will with the fresh bait. Yep, and it has, there it goes. Ratchet on, we've got a fish. Oh, how do we not have a fish? It was under the water for like that whole time when, when I said, yep, there it goes. They sometimes just grab it and they suck on them. There's fish down there, I can see them. Around the baits. Rightio. Got him. He's a good size one. It's funny, every time I pick up the other rod or whatever, I seem to, oh, that's a salmon trout. Okay, there you go. Salmon trout. Now they're gonna be 21. I think he's well there. Yeah, he's uh, 22. We might keep him for a bit of bait. When I ickied him, he just spat out this little white bait. So we're gonna match the hatch. And if we wanna put some soft plastics on, they'd be the ones. But we'll see how we go with the Tommies. So I'm actually going to move now that that balloon wants to go out that way. I'm going to move this into your corner. You should be able to hear that really well when that ratchet goes. When that ratchet goes off, got him. Not big, just a baby. He can go back. Pretty small. You can see him pulling it out. <laughs> got him. They certainly seem to have come into their own now. Bit uh, hungry. He's all right. He's not as big as I'd like. Come here. Just getting, again, it gets getting to that perfect time of night. The sun's at about 45 degrees. They're circling around. There's one on it now. I, just, <laughs> I don't know how they grab it and not actually get it, but anyway starting to go down, they're thinking about it. Got him. Might have a double leak. I think we got a double header, guys. Doubles, not big. Not big at all. These are cat food. These can go back. Just a tiny little one. And his brother or sister, it looks like a twin, because they're about the same size. Well, guys, I made a bit of a boo-boo. I didn't pack the extra batteries for the head cam, so we're out of head cam for the rest of the video. Apologies for that. Still a good view. You'll still see the rod bend. You just won't see it over the side. Okay, that, that's gone under. I'm like, why is that one? Not a huge one. We're getting a few head shakes. Uh, actually, he's all right. We're getting a, a feed anyway. That's the main thing. I'd rather be catching the Tommies than the uh, salmon trout, to be honest. All right, so I've swapped over to a bottom rig and I'm using that salmon for bait. So I've just got a bottom, yeah, bottom rig on with a couple of Paternoster with a couple of bits of salmon as bait and we'll see what comes of it. Feels like a bit of a rocky bottom. I'm just gonna cast a bit further out. Yeah, it looks like a rocky weedy bottom. 
Oh. Just heard that ratchet go, guys, a little bit. This could be it, guys. Might just be the current. Would have thought if it was a bite. There's nothing there at the moment. Got me a little bit excited, but I don't, I think it's just the current pulling a little bit extra. Could be the fish just swimming around too, trying to get away from something. Don't know. There's sort of a bit of excitement now. It's very strange. So if you think it was current, it'd just keep sort of doing it a bit more regularly. It's just weird. I reckon it might be a squid. I'm gonna bring it in. See if it was a squid. We'll know if it's a squid, it will have its back of its neck all chewed up. Could be a crab too. You don't know how, like what the water, or what the bottom's like over there. Certainly not anything on it at the moment. Yeah, he's still kicking. Oh well, mate, you survived, well done. I'm gonna put that uh, strip bait on like that. I'm just gonna put a half hitch around the, the tail, like that. Hook nice and exposed, see how we go. much action on that. All right guys, we're back to targeting the, the Tommies with the floats. I haven't got the pencil float on this time, just got the small ball float. Let's see how that goes. Oh, there you are. We've got some action here, guys. Oh, <laughs> float's going down, but didn't connect. Hmm. Oh, we're getting some action finally. Got one. There's a school, I think this is a salmon trout. No, it's a, oh, God dang it. He got off right at the last minute. It's okay, means they're out there. It's a good size one too, spewing. The sun is heading over the hill. There's no lights on this jetty, so I'm gonna uh, scale my fish on the jetty, ready for filleting back at Marion Bay Caravan Park. Uh, thanks for sticking with us. Bit of an interesting sort of day. Uh, not a huge amount of action, but a beautiful place to fish and um, definitely recommend getting down here. Thanks again, love your support. If you can give this a like and a subscribe, completely free to do. And watch this video next. <laughs>